Before we start the formal function, uh, actually we've got two flags made, very beautiful ones, and uh, they were there in the conference room in the mail building, so we've asked for them. Till the time, if you have any questions before the formal function starts, uh, you may. You can take it as an interactive session. Any queries? You can. Okay? Or in the meanwhile, you can... Uh, screen the documentary or the film, anything that you have on screen. Yeah, just to make best use of the time. Questions? Maybe they need time to warm up. Maybe when they listen to you, then they will have some questions. Right? Am I right? Let's begin. All 
of three of us yeah. please be here and the two flags here yeah. instead of one. Come here. Weber, Weber Malaysia, please. The flags here. Take it closer, please. Try to. So, a uh, very good afternoon to everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. We are very happy to hear about your interest of learning Spanish. Increase the volume, please. <laughs> Sorry. We are very happy um, well, to know about your interest about learning Spanish. And we will do now a very short uh, introduction about the education system in Spain, just for you to know. And after, we will go directly to the questions. And then you, can, you will be able to ask us as many things as you want. After the video you've, uh, you've seen, um, we will go directly to the, um, to the education system, which is the most interesting part of it. You already know uh, uh, the different um, cultural aspects of Spain, as of course, and we will go directly to the education. Okay, so um, as you may know, uh, Spain, although being a very little country, has a lot of diversity.
diversity of different universities and also different, um, a very wide uh, range of different courses of very one of the of arts, IT, technology, and has one of the most of the very top ranked schools such ESA, EA business schools, a very uh, big focus on entrepreneurship and many opportunities regarding the um, European Union and the Erasmus Mundus project. But um, let's go to the details. So as being part of the um, European Union, Spain is in a European, um, a European education system. Once you go to Europe, you can go freely through the Schengen area. So um, going to study to Spain means also being able to move around Europe. And our degrees uh, last uh, two uh, 40 credits, which means four years, or maybe depending on the degree, it will last five years. And if you're planning to do a master degree, it uh, usually takes one to two years. And well, we have 84 uh, different universities, 50 public and private, um, which we will talk about the prices uh, later. Different 43 business schools, um, different research institutes, and uh, technology parks. Um, but the key factors of um, the universities and the education system in Spain is that we have many ones that are in the top ranks depending on the degree um, on nursery also we have a ranking top ranking in law uh, business and many others and here's what most of you are afraid the expenses for a student in spain because you may relate to the european union but costs are a little bit lower than in european union the average it's about 90,000, one uh, many hundred, sorry, one thousand uh, for a month if you're planning to live in Barcelona or Madrid, which are the two main cities. But you have to know that if you want to study in the north of Spain or in the south of Spain, these are usually lower and you can even um, costs are much less because the highest expense you will face in Spain, it's mostly um, the renting costs, but then you have many uh, different uh, discounts for youth and also if you want to go to Madrid or Barcelona because there are also there are the main um, studying opportunities you can live at the outskirts and in just about 30 minutes you will reach the center and there are, as I said there are many uh, good opportunities of transport and um, discounts for, for costs and the tuition fees in public universities are between 70 uh, 1500 or 2000 euros and for a uh, master's it raises to even 3000 euros and for private universities as you can see um, costs are a little bit higher but as I've said there are many discounts okay and what are the advantages of studying in Spain so um, Spanish it's a um, very it's the second lang most spoken language in the world after English, even in the United States nowadays, uh, the second language is Spanish. So it's not a language just spoken in Spain, in Latin America, United States. It opens the doors of many other countries. Um, it gives you a lot of opportunities uh, when applying to a job because you already have a very good English as you uh, raised and you, your education is fully in English. So uh, studying Spanish, um, gives you a plus in your curriculum and it gives you many opportunities for for the future um, as I said Spain offers many good student opportunities it has many top ranked institutions you will find also for the ones afraid of Spanish many different courses and degrees not only uh, the 50 percent uh, touch uh, taught in English, but you will find 100% courses taught in English if you want. Um, the culture, the cost of life, it's really cheap compared to other parts of Europe. Um, and the pace of professional, it's really fast once you have your visa, you can already go to Spain and then you can move freely through all Europe. And as I was saying, my Spanish, so uh, second most language spoken in the world. Um, 
I'm sure you will be um, many of you cricket fans, but also football fans. And in Spain, there's a lot of football culture, um, very good teams, very good players. And in all our colleges and universities, there's a there's a football team which you can join if you come. And there are many summer programs with football, but also in many other areas such as tennis, um, arts, uh, dancing, singing, theater. Um, Really, there's a lot of opportunities also in um, many different sports and cultural. Um, for learning Spanish, also um, there are, there's also the official uh, certificate, DELE, as as in English, the you can have the first certificate or proficiency. Here in Spain, uh, we also have our uh, Spanish certificates, which are called DELE, and here in India, there. Are, um, many associate centers that um, that offer the possibility to do these exams and this is an official recognition you know Spanish and if um, there are many well if you know if you want later we can tell you some associate centers that work with this type of programs and learning Spanish as I was saying gives you many competitive advantages as many there are many speakers um, it was official in many countries. Um, it w it's not only uh, spoken in Latin America and Spain, but also uh, the second most language, uh, the second <laughs> language in uh, United States. And once again, coming to Spain, it's um, a door for going to many places in Europe, as it gives you free work. Yeah. Once back in India, after learning Spanish, there are many uh, important companies such as Amadeus, Inde, Travel Tech Company, Gamesa, Interoni Mobile, Energy, Anton, Antonin Group in the automotive sector, and of course uh, Inditex, which is uh, Zara and all these the, um, garment industry that are Spanish companies here in India that re really appreciate uh, the workers knowing Spanish. But I think that I've spoken a lot and you will be most interested in seeing real experiences of some Indian students uh, that came to Spain through a program, um, through a program Campus Spain, um, that offers some different summer courses in Spanish and now you will see their testimonial.
Before that, I would like to know as to how many of you have opted for the Spanish language course. I believe 29 students have paid money. Not all are present, Alicia? No, ma'am. Actually, two are not well, so then they called me and I said, okay. Okay. Good, good. So, any questions from your side? No? Everything is clear? Sure? I have a question. Yeah, please. Yeah. Spanish universities provide any scholarship for students who know a certain language, a level of language at level 1 or level 2? Or by any other way? Uh, yes. it, it could vary from university to university. It is, uh, there is no uh, base rule as such which has been established by the Ministry of Education of Spain, but uh, a lot of universities do take off on scholarships. Uh, that is something that we would need to, uh, you know, it, it's a bit of research that you would need to do. Anyone else? No one? I have a question. The ones who have enrolled, what is your reason for wanting to study Spanish? Good question, I would say. Made you choose a Spanish language? Leo had offered seven languages. Six. Six Japanese, Korean, Mandarin, French, German, and Spanish. What made you choose Spanish? Yeah. Okay. And besides that, 
Come on, students. You won't get another chance to answer this question. Just like Zindagi na milegi dobara, aisa chance dobara nahi milega. What made you go for Spanish language? First of all, I knew that. Huh? I knew that it's uh, one of the most popular, popular language in the world. Yeah. Okay, so you love football and so you chose Spanish. So football brought you to Spain. Spain. Hmm? Good. Anyone else? Nobody for Rafael Nadal. <laughs> Messi. <laughs> The food, Tomatina Festival. Hmm? Those who have joined, did you study anything about Spain before joining? Did you think of what are your expectations when you wanting to learn Spanish? What is the expectation that you have from yourself, from the course that is being offered to you, and where do you see yourself with regards to Spanish? How many of you would want to pursue it to reach the proficiency level? How many of you would wish to travel to Spain for tourism or for studies? For tourism. tourism? For tourism. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes. 20 is a good number. Are you ready? So we'll ask Travel Club to start initiating the tourism time, right? Are you serious? Yes, ma'am. Sure? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma to Spain? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. So tell me what you know about Spain. Don Quixote. We used to uh, we used to have a lesson like in English, so we used to say Don Quixote. Yes, Don hmm? okay. It's Quixote. Quixote. And a core character house me. Don Quixote and uh, I forgot. In English, we used to have a lesson. What else you know about Spain? Can you all just stand up? I want to know how many Nobody of you have opted for this language. Please stand up. Spanish food. No Spanish food enthusiasts here. Oh, yeah. You want? Wow. Yes, yes. We have some very animal. Okay. Macho, please stand up. Those of you have opted uh, for this language. Kada ho None of the boys. One, two, itna time lag raha khade hone mein. 29 have opted, right? 25? 22. 22. Yeah, Just a few of you. Six and eight and one nine. Nine, okay. Nevertheless, uh, so uh, you must have thought of something when you joined. Can you just speak a sentence each? Yeah. Put your mask down and you can speak. Yeah. Okay. Kya soch ke liye? The first thumb rule. If you're wanting to learn a language, you need to stop being shy, shed all your inhibitions. Very important. Very, very important. Okay? So if you are not going to say a word to me now, then Spanish is not very difficult. So if you think that I'm doing a mistake or I'm doing a mistake, how do I talk about it? Get it? So... I think that's the thumb rule for anything new that you want to learn in life. Uh, Ma'am, the second most language spoken in all your language and the culture of the country. So 
Yeah, if you want to go for further studies to Spain, it was imperative to, for you to know the language. That's, that's a good decision, yeah. arrange a, a trip to a, a Spanish restaurant. Yes, it's very small sometime, point. I don't think sometime. they will have uh, too many of the fitting. I think they have about four tables with yes. four seating each. Yeah, so 22 are, can be accommodated yeah, and not yeah. all may offer. We can just take a one table. You can take a so, reserve uh, the, the, the seats. Chef, uh, it's Manuel. called Manuel. You can tell him the Spanish uh, how much long he's recommended and probably he'll uh, make a reservation with them. However, yeah. the best way is to go to <laughs> you know, because there's also many Indian restaurants in Spain, but nothing to do when you come. <laughs> so it's the best way to try it, okay? Well, this is just, uh, I, I would thing. say, uh, a warm up. It's yeah, a warm -up. an icebreaker. Yeah. I really like the music, and I also watch many of the Netflix web series, so it will be easier if I learn the language instead of seeing the subtitles. Okay. <laughs> Well said, yeah. Okay. Very well said. I speak it as the second most spoken language. It will help me communicate once I be like once I leave Spain and maybe it's uh, as it is common, it will help me communicate. I love traveling, so that's why I opted. Are you from junior college? Yeah. Okay. FYG. First year or S Y? F Y G. First year. Yes. Okay. Good to know that. Very yeah. Good. She's in eleven. Junior college. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Yeah. I think it will be nice if you introduce yourself. Good morning. Good afternoon. My name is Puddi and I am going to do cabin crew. That's why I wanted to learn the new language. Okay. And you are from? Currently in which class? TYB com. TYB com. Good. Hello. I am Jia. Sit down. Sit down. I watch Netflix series 
then it's the most uh, second most spoken language. That's why I want to learn. Okay. And I like learning that language. That's great. And so which class? F by B M. B M M. Yes. Okay. What about you, Peter? Better job opportunity. Huh? Better job opportunity. Okay. So you are looking for a job? No, like I want to study in some foreign country. Huh. So it's uh, like a good starting point to study uh, Spanish first. Okay. Good one. Yeah. So from which class? F Y J C. Okay. Great. Uh, so uh, now I would just like. Uh, you have your. Uh, actually, I like the culture of the Spain, and uh, I'm a good fan of football, so I like Spanish very much. So that's why I chose Spanish. Great, great. So uh, my first cousin, my aunt, stays in Spain, and I would really like to learn Spanish so, so that I can communicate with them very easily. <laughs> you don't want to go to Spain. I do. I really want to. Yeah, it's always an added advantage if you know a language, be it any foreign language. It adds to your resume and uh, job options increase. And Madam has just told us about the different countries, uh, sorry, companies of Spain who are in India. There also you can have a better uh, prospect of getting a job. And the big IT companies are now recruiting people who know different languages, be it Mandarin, Japanese, French, German. So. Uh, I would expect each and every student of KES Shop College to learn a foreign language. And uh, you all must have realized that the cost of this course in our college is pretty less if you compare with market rates, right? And uh, about the center, I, we at KES Shop College always insist on good teaching, our focus, and we always try to have the best of teachers, the quality, is, uh, I mean, that has been a basic philosophy that uh, students should get their due and uh, it should be value for money for students, be it BCom course, be it any of the course, BA, BCom, BSC, IT, BAC, BMS, BMM, BIM, whatever may be the course, or be it a certificate course like yours of uh, 60 hours duration. And we have selected good teachers in each language and justice will be done to you but your own effort, inclination has to be there. And when 22 of you will be there, my suggestion is learn and you have to converse amongst yourself. That is the way to learn a language. Unless and until you are able to speak, you cannot claim yourself as being proficient in that language. Speaking, of course, reading, writing is the beginning, but then speaking is most important. So, and another very important point Madam has made that you should not feel shy while speaking. You will do mistakes, but you always learn from mistakes. Mistakes are a stepping stone to success. Always remain. remember. It is not a failure, but I would say a stepping stone to success. So, you have to be serious about it about learning a language. Understood? Read stories. Whatever books you require, reference books and all, we are willing to buy those books and keep in the library. Okay? The center will be in this building and we'll have a designated place, a designated lecture room, and maybe uh, some small collection of books, textbooks, stories about Spanish culture, language, whatever. Uh, I think uh, ma'am can suggest some books and all. Your textbooks may be different, which you may have to buy. But other references uh, we will have in our library. And make the best use of everything. Ultimately, learning is your outlook and teaching is ours. If you have any complaint against the teacher, please do let us know. We will ask the teacher to do justice, to transform, to see how they can reach you. Initially, you may have problem because learning anything new looks difficult. I mean, I think we should now focus on uh, youngsters because ma'am has just told me that it has taken five years for her to become proficient in a language. And that, that is a very, uh, uh, 
I, I would say just and fair uh, approach that uh, it is not learned, any language is not learned overnight. Aaj English bhi, hum log bachpan se bolte chale aa rahe aur abhi bhi shayad perfect nahi. Right? So, a foreign language starting at this level from A, B, C, D of Spanish language, it will take time. But, ma'am, I believe nothing is difficult. Right? Is it a diff difficult language? It's possible that I am possible. I am possible, yeah. So Normally, we say that Mandarin is very difficult or even Japanese. But I think European languages are not that difficult to grasp and learn. Okay? And once you understand A, B, C, D, hi, hello, thank you, that is the way. And never feel shy. I speak Marathi with tunes, khub galat salat bolti hu, lekin bolti hu. And that is how I have learned from my mate at home, who's a Maharashtrian. Usse hi converse kar kar ke galat salat bol ke hum Marathi bolna seek rahe. Kyunki unke saamne hume dar nahi lagta, kuch bhi bol do chalega. Tunes se kuch bhi bol do chalega, haan. Koi agar senior admi a jai, to again, I will feel shy or when you are shy, you feel all, you, you speak all the more wrong, wrong language. So never feel shy, wo inhibition nahi rehna chahiye, otherwise you will not know. Okay, so Alisha ma'am, when are we going to start? When is the opening of your center for foreign languages? Ma'am, after 25th. After? 25th of November. After 25th, then, then start from 1st December. Yes. You'll have a formal inauguration, yeah. right? So all the best and see if any newcomers are there. Yeah, please. Duration. Uh, Ma'am is not going to <laughs> teach that language. We have already notified. Masters. Two years. Normally one year, Ma'am is saying. Two years, yeah. Even in India, it's mostly two years. Mostly a one year. Mostly one year. And ma'am, which is the most rapid growing industry in Spain? Like for students. Rapid growing industry for students. Difficult to name one. Honestly, difficult to name one. I mean, um, there's so many industries. Like, there's so many industries. Spanish architecture is also very famous. Engineering, IT.
questions? Anything more coming from your side? wanted to know whether you can become personal experience. Learning a language requires a lot of perseverance, a lot of dedication. If you're joining a course thinking you will do one level or two levels and you will be able to converse, then I'm sorry to say so that it is a myth because if you want to get to proficiency level, you need to dedicate a lot of time and thankfully you'll have a lot of resources online. So please just do not depend on the classes that are being imparted. Try to do a lot of homework, on your own, try to watch videos, try to, uh, uh, there are a lot of uh, programs, listen to music, there are also podcasts, there are a lot of podcasts as well. So it will require a lot of effort from your end to see where you go ahead in a language. Because just being in a class for one hour, I've been teaching as well. I have not just learned it, I've been a teacher as well of Spanish language. And uh, from my experience, I can tell you that it is 100% work from your side. What the teacher gives you is just 10%. The rest of it has to come from you, the 100%. And only then will you be able to move ahead and learn and speak the language fluently. Okay? That should be your aim, speaking fluently. That is very important. So here we come to the closing of another yet another enthralling session and uh, firstly uh, I'd like to thank Ms. Martha, Ms. Padma and Ms. Cecilia for uh, gracing your college with their presence. Um, it was utterly invaluable and extremely informative and we are very grateful for your guidance and expertise today. Uh, I thank the management of K.E.S. Shroff College for always being super supportive. Uh, I'd like to thank Principal Ma'am and Vice Principal Sir for uh, their unrelenting support. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Vaibhav Sir and Alisha Ma'am who are the uh, heads of International Studies and Foreign Languages respectively. Uh, finally, I'd like to thank the team who put in so much hard work into this event and made it possible. Thank you so much and uh, until next time, hasta la vista.
Yeah. <laughs> For the benefit of the crowd, there was only Kali Ram said only one line. <laughs> okay, so uh, Buenos dias, los toros, las mujeres y los hombres. That means uh, translated in English, uh, a very good morning to everyone present, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and all friends alike. That was the one line in Spanish that Alicia told people to speak for the benefit of people. Okay.